Hi everybody, John P.O. here, and today we're going to talk about joysticks. Did you know the joystick got its start in Germany during the 40s, used to control V2 rockets? Well, the joystick's come a long way since then, and has been used in many multiple applications, from jet fighters, to motorized wheelchairs, and of course, to video games. And uh, the first video game that used a joystick was created by Ralph Baer, the godfather of video games for his Magnavox Odyssey. But uh, you may be more familiar with the Atari 2600 joystick, which was a digital joystick. Uh, I have a Coleco Gemini joystick here, which I find fantastic uh, for control. And it uses the standard DE9 controller, which was on the Atari 2600 joysticks uh, used by Sega Genesis. And today we are fortunate enough to uh, have little dongles like this that we can connect and this would then convert it to a uh, USB connector that we can use on a modern computer. Of course we can also just use a modern com computer D-pad joystick. Um, these are very very popular today. But we're going to be concerned with arcade joysticks. The kind that you used during Street Fighter and got all those blisters. Here's a standard joystick. We'll take a look at this and see how this works. Stand by. This is your standard joystick. Now, you've got the typical control on top joystick, and on the bottom, you will see four micro switches, which you may be familiar with from the last Main Cade Tech where we covered the fire button. These are the exact same switches that work in the fire button. They're just actually screwed on to the bottom of the joystick housing. So uh, let's take a look at what makes this work. Basically, we've got the housing and we've got this stem that you can see goes all the way through. And I'm going to just take it apart. There is a sleeve that covers the stem just for aesthetics so it looks all uniform and black. And then there's a collar on the bottom here which would uh, cover the hole on the control panel of whatever video game it was so you wouldn't see the hole and that would sit down there so basically it would be something like this underneath the panel this would go through a hole and that would this would cover the hole and then sit in there so now what's happening when we move a joystick basically the stem will push on this ring in the direction opposite of what you're pushing. So if I go up, um, this switch will get pushed. So up, and I can see what's happening there. See that right here? That's pushing this button. So when it's wired, you have to wire it in a manner that up is this switch. And consequently, the opposite is true, where down would activate this switch, down, and that's activated. Now, this is a four-way joystick, meaning you've got just four directions to move in. Games that used four-way joysticks were games like Pac-Man, uh, the classic original Donkey Kong. If you ever tried to go diagonal on a game like Donkey Kong, uh, Mario would just stand there. It, it, it doesn't register. Now. Uh, some games work better with a four-way. Obviously, those two games would certainly work better. Some games work better with an eight-way. A game like Street Fighter uses an eight-way joystick. What's the difference? It's the same joystick. The only difference is this little ring right here would be a slightly larger circumference. Basically, two ways you can do it. Either there is a joystick that is made slightly bigger here, or you can get a convertible joystick which means this ring would come out and you would swap it for something like this okay as you can see we've got let's see if I can focus here uh, this ring has a slightly larger di diameter on this side than this so uh, this would go in here remove this ring down below here put this in its place and that's your four-way if you need an 8-way, you would swap it out and drop it in there. Now the fact that it's slightly bigger 
means that when I hit diagonal, meaning any of the diagonal directions, I will activate two switches simultaneously. So for instance, this direction on a four-way joystick does nothing. If this was a slightly bigger uh, ring, it would activate this leaf and this leaf at the same time, triggering both of these at the same time. And then the controller would get the signal and this would make, make a diagonal, the corresponding diagonal, which would be the opposite on this end. You get that? Does that make sense? Basically, this little ring, the size matters. If it's this diameter, it'll only be able to activate one switch at a time. If it was slightly larger, it would activate two switches. See, if you can hear the click, I don't know if you can hear the click. I can only get one click at a time because I'm, I'm set to a four-way right now. Slightly bigger, that would hit them both, and then you've got an eight-way. Pretty simple, very simple design. Again, these micro switches are very easy to change. Just one little screw is holding it. They are very, very hardy. Uh, you just wire them up with the common and the uh, normally open, normally close. And uh, you can review the uh, past joystick, uh, sorry, fire button video to see how they work. And that's it. That's how an arcade stick works. Now you know the difference. Happy gaming.